Today I'm going to show you how to remove the engine on your Honda. Now we're going to be removing this engine out of a 2003 Honda Accord with a manual transmission. Now this car has only got about 200,000 kilometers on it and the engine and transmission run really strong but like many other Hondas everything else is falling apart. Now some of the differences under a manual transmissions car is of course you've got your master cylinder but there's also another line that runs down to the slave cylinder out in front here and that's responsible for hydraulically controlling the clutch. Now you've also got extra lines for your shifters which bring your shifter cables in here on top of the transmission. Now when removing an engine or a transmission from a car the first thing you're going to want to do is remove the battery, the airbox and drain all the fluids from down below. Now I gotta remove these car pins so that I can remove these shifter linkages. And there's the shifter cable assembly removed from the transmission. Now this line here is the one that goes to the slave cylinder. So I gotta remove it from this fitting over here. ourselves some more room by removing the radiator. Now we gotta pull off the, now we gotta pull off those AC lines. Right, we gotta pull off the cooling lines going into the heater core at the back of the engine. Next I gotta remove the fuel line. I just have to squeeze these two green things together and then I can pull it out. Alright so I've got most of the stuff disconnected from under the engine bay with the exception of the two mounts on the sides. We're next going to go underneath and disconnect some more stuff. Now the suspension I need to remove the upper ball joint to get the axles out. Oh, that's messy. Just drain the transmission. And now we're going to drain the engine oil. I got to disconnect the exhaust with these two 14 millimeter bolts here. She came out. Wow. Whoa. Okay, that just fell right off there. Pieces of this gasket missing here is probably where part of the exhaust leak was. And if your car is anything like mine, the whole exhaust just drops right down due to rust. Might want to save that catalytic converter though, it's worth something in scrap value. Now the K24s have a lot of engine mounts. You got one at the back here. Then you've got one at the front here. Those are your main ones that attach to the subframe. Then if you come around on the transmission side, there's two more small ones attached down here. Then at the top here, there's another side mount over here. And then on the transmission side, there's another mount over here that mounts to the body. I'm gonna go ahead and unbolt the front mount from the top, as well as the rear mount from the top. All right, so the bolts are out from the rear mount. The side mount's been disconnected. Bolts are out from the front mount. And the mount on this transmission side as well as under here has been disconnected. I think it's pretty cool that Honda uses these connectors to disconnect the wiring harness with the engine so it's easy to swap instead of going inside and disconnecting the computer. Alright, once you made sure that all the hoses and wires have been disconnected from the engine, we're pretty much free to strap it up to the crane. Alright, and with it all strapped up, I'm then going to lift up this engine. And here we have it, the engine and transmission lifted up off of the subframe down below. You can see everything here is disconnected and we should be clear to lift right up and take it out. One thing I really like is that Honda gives you an extra hole over here so that you can make this hood almost vertical when taking out the engine. The original hole is up here if you're just checking your oil or something. And that's pretty much how you remove the engine and the transmission from a Honda. Make sure you follow me on Instagram for more behind the scenes footage and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one.